Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers, back up in it. Uh, Kobe 4, Pro Tro. The Formers Review. Yeah. Pro Tro. Uh, we do love the Pro Tro series. What a great idea. Uh, this is the Kobe 4 uh, redone, revisited. Yes. 175 for these bad boys. Very expensive. Yeah, this is top dollar. Top dollar shoe for sure. Yes. Uh, but let's see if it's worth the price point. Because but Nike did lie to us. Ooh, that's yeah, right. Nike did lie to us. They told us it was full length zoom, but it's not. So it's only heel, uh, zoom in the heel, which we'll get into. But yeah, so Kobe 4 Pro Tro, Donny Boy tested these. Let's get it started off with the Traccione's. You got a weird splatter print with herringbone. Yeah, it, it's the, the pattern is herringbone, but you have this weird splatter shape, which is, I don't understand what that's supposed to be. It looks yes. like a squash bug or something. Yeah. Um, anyways, half translucent, uh, half solid traction. Uh, at first, I, it was, I wasn't really too into it. It did break in a little bit. It's not the best on dust. Yep. And it doesn't, it also doesn't have like the craziest bite, but it's adequate, it's doable. Um, it, it was actually pretty good once it broke in. Mm -hmm. Just not the best on dust for sure. So on a clean court, it's good though. On a clean court, it's really good, okay. uh, especially once you break it in. But yeah, dust is a little bit of an issue. Definitely, uh, you know, a little disappointing in the traction to be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, as a Kobe, you know, most Kobe's just bite crazy, um, or, or a lot of them, and so I was kind of hoping for that. Um, just not as not uh, uh, as much bite as I really would want. Yeah, and also in dusty conditions. Yeah, and also uh, durability doesn't seem to be very good. I mean, the, it is herringbone, but the rubber is pretty damn soft. Yeah, especially like and no, both solid and translucent sides are like soft rubber, really thin as well. And you can see a lot of dust buildup here. It's what, it, and also also a lot of fraying. Yeah, too, it's like um, also we did have a fan, just one fan. So I don't know if it's a widespread problem, but we did have someone send in like their durability, like the solid white part kind of oh, like yeah. coming off. So uh, that is one thing, uh, maybe a little defect, but Donny Boy didn't have a problem and we didn't have anyone else send that in. So uh, just take that with a grain of salt, but also it just doesn't seem durable uh, right off the bat anyway, yeah. because the rubber's soft and it, and it is framed. So just watch out for that. But uh, overall traction, once you break it in, is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Also, uh, wiping is fairly easy. Um, you know, doesn't stick to it like crazy, crazy. So, um, yeah, overall traction is pretty, pretty damn good. Okay. Moving on to the cushion. Ooh, I guess what? It, so it's just fine on, right? But, I guess, but it, you right? know what? It feels like a lunar lawn. Yeah. Because it's very, very soft to the touch, like lunar lawn, uh -huh. and it, it gets a lot of compression marks, which is indicative to lunar lawn. And it's an overall light shoe, which we'll get into, which Lunar Lawn is pretty light. I, I don't know, maybe it's just a different um, different uh, mixture of Phylon or whatever, but I guess Zoom in the heel. Uh, yeah, forefoot's pretty dead, uh, but you know, it's not like uh, violent or anything if you're gonna come down. It's just responsive, but you're not gonna get any like Zoom feel, of course because there's no zoom in the forefoot, but the heel is super nice. Yes. Like a really, really quick bounce. A um, little bit squishy and great impact protection, but not too much. You still feel very low to the ground in this setup, but like very low. Is that from the, the foam or is that from the zoom? It doesn't really feel like zoom. Um, it feels more like the foam. Okay. It feels like a really nice lunar lawn compression. Okay. Is what it feels like to me. Okay. Um, I mean, some of that is probably obviously the zoom unit, I would, I would guess, but uh, I'm, you know, I really, really love this cushion setup because yeah. it's ultimate response. Uh, it doesn't affect the response at all. You're super low to the ground, but you also have a nice little feel in the cushion. Heel to toe transition is great. Um, and you know, I, and I'm really into feeling low and, and responsive. So you're not mad at them not including full. No. Yeah, exactly. At all. Right. It's not. I mean, I'm, I'm mad that if they're advertising that. And they lied to us. And they lied to us, but. But it's not a huge deal for us, because sometimes full zoom is a little too much. You yeah. Know? So this is a nice little setup. Great. Okay. All right. Moving on to the materials. Materials they kept it synthetic. Yep. And uh, I wonder if they changed the, the vamp or anything on this uh, material uh, or made it thinner or, you know, to try to shed some weight, but they it didn't really say anything like that. But yeah, I mean, synthetic materials, how is it? Uh, you know, you got to break it in for a minute. Uh, so that's a little bit annoying. 
uh, you know, I'm not in love with synthetic materials, but once it breaks in, it's not bad. You know, uh, it, it, these materials are super supportive and you know, they're gonna, they're gonna last a long time. Durability is gonna be good with them. Did you have any pinching though? Um, you know, I didn't have any, well, a little bit of pinching in the creasing in the forefoot yeah. when you're breaking it in for sure. Um, another thing that really bugged me is uh, uh, if you use this top eyelet, do not use this top eyelet. Hmm. It will saw into your ankle bone, um, which I, I kind of wanted to do, but we'll get to that in fit. Mm -hmm. But overall materials, I'm actually not mad. Yeah. You know, it's like one of these like crazy, like supportive, uh, but very, very thin uppers, which is cool. Um, yeah, so synthetics are usually nice once you break it in. It doesn't really take too long to break in because it's like really thin. But the only thing that sucks is the breaking time and you sometimes you have a little bit of pinching and stuff but that's only like what a few days yeah so not a huge deal and you know it's thin soft and feels great on foot yeah yeah so uh there's some materials but yeah ob obviously synthetic materials really don't look great especially where the creases are yeah and uh it doesn't really look uh like in feel premium in hand yeah you know? but that's the only problem Usually on foot and for performance feels nice. Mm -hmm. you know? Moving on to fit, how does that fit? Fit is good. Um, it uh, it does run a little bit long, so you might want to go down half a size. And it, the fit is a little bit, uh, you know, not as narrow as some, you know, previous Colby's or you know Colby's after this, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, so not the most narrow fit, but overall fit was pretty good. Okay. Um, and also you do have a kind of like a tech fit booty tongue yeah where the tongue is attached to this mesh material and it goes all the way underneath the synthetic material so you have a better one-to-one -one fit uh, um, something i want to talk about real quick in regards to fit is that that top eyelid mm -hmm. okay now if you don't use that top eyelid um the so, some some colby's have this issue when you step down if you use step down on your heel it opens up right here mm -hmm. and I don't know it kind of bugs me you know you can remedy that by using a top eyelet but you can't use a top eyelet because it saws into your ankle bone mm -hmm. so that was a little bit annoying uh, I really like coming all the way up in the eyelets but uh, so fit wise that was kind of a bummer but yeah anyways all right moving on to the weight 15.5 so I that's think, not crazy for me I think 12 or 13 ounces was your 360 yeah so like two ounces heavier is actually like pretty light that's pretty I mean I was mind blown yeah. uh, when I first found out how, how light these were yeah because of all the synthetics and and they feel light too yeah they yeah. feel really light on foot crazy light yeah feels super super light super responsive especially if you're getting a good bite materials are really really supportive so yeah, overall, really, really light, responsive shoe. They definitely must have shed some weight, I would imagine, from yeah. the original. Um, but the original is actually pretty light, though. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, moving on to support and lockdown. Any problems with support and lockdown? No, crazy supportive. Lockdown is great, as usual. Uh, any, any problems with lateral containment? No. Nothing. Uh, you have a bit of an outrigger as well. That might be a little added bonus. Uh, they did mention that they did make the outsole wider or something like that. Mm -hmm. So maybe that is, but yeah, so you're going to be laterally stable. It is a low though. Uh, you're not going to get any ankle support, but it is yeah. a wide base. So you're going to be laterally stable. So, uh, so and you feel lockdown. low to the ground, and you feel low to the ground. which yeah. helps. You are low to the ground. Yeah. So supporting lockdown, not a problem? Yeah, solid. Okay. All right, overall comfort, just casually walking around and stuff, super comfortable? Yeah, you know, the, the upper isn't like the most comfortable. It's not as, it's not gonna be as comfortable as like a knit or something. Yeah. But the cushion setup is really comfortable. And once it breaks in, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable though. Okay. Uh, ventilation? Ventilation wasn't bad. Really? I didn't really notice anything, which is weird. I mean, like, I guess there's a lot of uh, airflow through this mesh. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see kind of like the light coming in as well. Yeah. So that's not bad, but the synthetic obviously is not going to be very good. Um, so I guess all the airflow is going to come in th through there. Yeah, and, and the materials are pretty thin. So, you know, that, that might help a little bit as well. Yeah. Durability. Eh, I mean, the, the outsole doesn't seem durable at all. Yeah, and it's getting dirty uh, depending on what colorway you get. A lot yeah. of compression marks in the cushion. Yeah. The cushion probably will start to bottom out after a certain period of time. You know, for what it is, for the materials they use, I feel like it's not the most durable. I mean, I think the synthetics are going to last a while, yeah. but then the cushion and the traction doesn't seem like it's going to... I mean, the cushion seems like it's going to bottom out and the traction doesn't seem durable. So. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't seem like the most durable shoe, you know? Yeah. Uh, so there's that. 
Uh, aesthetics, I like these. Yep. Uh, this is a pretty dope colorway as well, but I I am waiting for that gold medal, that yeah. USA Olympics colorway or whatever. That colorway is sick. Uh, so looking forward to more colorways there. Wrapping things up, 175 bucks. They, it really isn't an upgrade, I don't think. Or there's really not an upgrade from the original. So it's not it's not a pro tro per se, right? I, I guess yeah. they did maybe change up a few things, but I'd say it's pretty minimal. It's minuscule. Um, but other than that, how how how's it? It's nice. It's a banger, uh, especially once you break it in. Definitely a Kobe. Feels like a Kobe. Plays like a Kobe. Uh, will it be in my rotation? I don't know. You know? Yeah, yeah. It'll be in my rotation. Okay. Loosely, you know. Okay. I definitely recommend these. They're a little expensive. One seventy five. Yeah. You know, it's kind of kind of crazy. crazy. There's yeah. probably a few other shoes you can get that maybe be better than this that are cheaper. Um, but if you're really in love with the four or this, you know, just the aesthetics of the shoe, you know, it performs really well. Okay. Um, so there's that. It's a good performer, but not like the best and it is a little expensive. Also not really an upgrade from the four, which kind of sucks. But if you're looking for a solid performer, the Kobe 4 Pro Tro is the way to go. And uh, if you guys want a copy pair, we'll try to leave a link in the description box it is, if it is available. But that's a performance review. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.